<clears throat> hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to do a grasshopper tutorial. Uh, the ones I've seen on YouTube, uh, the ones I've just quickly Google searched and kind of looked on YouTube, um, I thought they were done very poorly, like extremely poorly, so um, they didn't really explain much, so I'm going to do a full tutorial on grasshopper and uh, try to explore this as much as possible with you guys and try to take this baby steps at a time with you guys. Um, so the first thing I want to go over, very first thing, is that this is a parametric designing program. Uh, it is used to, it's crea it creates uh, objects or forms using um, code, uh, coding, uh, using uh, visual scripting with nodes. Uh, it's very, it's a little complex, I would say. It's hard to get used to at first because it's such a, a different type of modeling. There's like Rhino modeling and then there's 3ds Max modeling with this, with polygon modeling. And rhinos with um, nerd modeling, so it's it's a lot different than those two. It's using um, kind of actions in the series in order to produce the result that you want. So um, let's go over this real quick. Uh, here you go. Uh, so this is the interface. I'm just going to go over the interface today. Nothing super complex. Maybe some basic um, commands, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the first thing you see is, um, what you want to do is first download Grasshopper. You can uh, just type in Grasshopper for Rhino download on Google and you'll find it. Um, then all you have to do to start it up is uh, type in Grasshopper in the commands, command bar and it'll come up like this. So you have all these tabs that do all sorts of things. Um, usually uh, you wouldn't go to these. 90% of the time you're going to type them in and you're like, where are you going to type them in? So the way you type them in is just to double double left click anywhere in this screen and type in a command. So an easy one that we're problem, everyone usually uses is polygon. So I'm just going to do that one. And this will create a polygon at origin 00, zero in a rhino space. So see it creates in the center at 00. zero. Uh, right now it is a hexagon. So it's set at five segments. Or no, six segments, sorry. And yeah, so this is just a basic uh, node. It's a polygon node. All it says is create a polygon. And um, so, yeah, you see um, the left hand side is always the out input, and then the right hand side is always the output. So you plug in these plane radius, and then so you give it a bunch of parameters, and it'll and it'll spit out a result. Um, sorry if you hear that um, singing. It's my roommate. So yeah. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much the interface for that. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, I would recommend uh, turning on full names and fancy wires. If you don't turn on full names, it's a little hard to understand. Um, I've used the program a little bit enough. I use the program enough to understand what these mean, like PRS is plain, and then I, I just kind of know it. But um, it's a little hard to tell if you're not kind of uh, within the, if you're just starting out. So I love to... I still, even when I model in Grasshopper, use full names. Also, to make sure you turn on fancy wires on here, it just helps out. Uh, is there anything else? Let me check. Everything else should be pretty hip, pretty good. Alright, so yeah, that's just a, um, I guess a bit of a, <coughs> bit of a, um, intro, just an intro. I'm just want to go over basically the very drawn down basics because I feel like people don't go over very well. So yeah, these are just a bunch of tabs that come with it. Uh, these ones I downloaded. So Grasshopper is known for also not just modeling, but you, you also can do like environmental studies. So like uh, this one can do sun shadow studies along with this one and along with this one. This has a lot of other. Um, so Grasshopper is very uh, resourceful. You don't have to know any of these. I'm just showing you. Uh, Lunchbox. Uh, this is probably one of the most useful ones. It's probably the best, in my opinion. And I have a rhino nest on here as well. So, uh, this is the robot arm. So, uh, I'll go over that later. But for right now, this is just what we have. Just, uh, see. So yeah. I'm gonna go over that real quick. So yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it for this part of the tutorial. Uh, 
yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys watch the next one, because I'm going to go over some actual scripting in that one. I just wanted to give a quick kind of tutorial on this one. Thank you. Thanks for, thank you guys for watching.